to those safe zones. Joining us now, take a closer look at this, is former CIA Director James Woolsey, a national security advisor to the Donald Trump campaign. Mr. Director, it's great to have you on. Thank you so much. Good to be with you. Thank you. So, as it stands, as the national security advisor to the Trump campaign, what is the Trump campaign's position on Syria, on stopping the humanitarian crisis in Aleppo? I'm, I'm not the one to ask for policy decisions as uh, the candidate. Uh, but uh, I, I, I do think that uh, the safe zone uh, approach, given the circumstances uh, uh, we're in now, uh, is uh, one of the only uh, courses of action uh, left to us. Uh, the, the, the problem, uh, really, I think, uh, was generated uh, by President Obama's uh, decision to draw a red line and tell the Syrians, that, uh, Syrian government, that they could not cross it. And what that meant was they couldn't use chemical weapons against their own people. They went right ahead and did it, and uh, the United States shrugged and handed the problem over to Russia. Uh, and we, as a result, are not uh, being uh, considered seriously uh, in that part of the world. I'm a little perplexed by your statement here. Uh, do you not know what the policy of the campaign is when it comes I, I'm, to I'm gonna let the, I'm going to let the, can, I'm gonna let the candidates uh, uh, this, themselves communicate policy to uh, the public, not me. Well, are you are you confused by the differences between the two? You know what, let's play it for our viewers so we can all discuss it. Here's where the confusion lies. Mike Pence was asked about what to do about Syria and the humanitarian crisis in Aleppo during the BP debate. This is what he said. The provocations by Russia need to be met with American strength. And, and, and if Russia chooses to be involved and continue, I should say, to be involved, and this barbaric attack on civilians in Aleppo, the United States of America should be prepared to use military force to strike military targets of the Assad regime to prevent them from this humanitarian uh, crisis that is taking place in Aleppo. And then Donald Trump was asked the exact same question in last night's debate. Listen. What would you do about Syria and the humanitarian crisis in Aleppo? And I want to remind you what your running mate said. He said, provocations by Russia need to be met with American strength and that if Russia continues to be involved in airstrikes along with the Syrian government forces of Assad, the United States of America should be prepared to use military force to strike the military targets of the Assad regime. <coughs> He and I haven't spoken, and I disagree. I disagree. Where is the disagreement? Well, look, this is for the candidates to sort out. Uh, I'm an advisor. I'm not going to uh, sort out politics and decision making for it. I'll be you glad to. I think the advantages and disadvantages are of various courses of action. But those you agree with Mike Pence or Donald Trump on this, Director? Uh, I am not going to put a stake in the ground on behalf of one or the other or an intermediate position. I'm going to tell you what I think would be wise. I've been trying to do that for a couple of minutes here, but you seem to want to get me into politics, which is not my field. Look, wait, Mr. Director, but you are, it's, you are James Woolsey. You're the former CAA director. You are national security advisor to the Donald Trump campaign. When it comes to a key policy position that you would assume would be a unified position of the campaign, I, I would also assume you would know what it is and be able to voice it. I'm not telling you one way or the other. The candidates are the ones who are going to communicate uh, uh, the policy decisions uh, to the public, uh, not me. Why does it make you uncomfortable? It, it doesn't necessarily make me uncomfortable. I'm just refusing to do it. I uh, think it's they're the ones who are running for office. They're the ones who ought to uh, create uh, the doctrine and the policies and, uh, and uh, shape them uh, uh, the way they want, to, not an advisor. One other question, uh, Mr. Director, while we have you here. What was your reaction when you heard the Access Hollywood tape where Donald Trump was, was bragging about being able to grab women's genitalia and get away with it because he was famous? I, I work on national security matters. I've worked for four presidents, two Republicans, two Democrats, on national security matters of all kinds, counterterrorism, uh, the size of the military, uh, the Navy, uh, uh, arms control. That's what I do. I but don't assess Mr. what's going on politically in the, in the campaign. I'm not sure that's it's a not political question. Position. I'm not sure that's a political question. As far as I'm concerned, it's very political. As far as I'm concerned, it's very political, and I'm not going to get into politics. I'm going to talk about substance. 
if you don't want me to talk about substance, then don't invite me on your show. Well, we don't. No, we did ask you about substance. We were, I was trying to ask you about a substance on Syria, and you didn't want to get, you did not want, want to articulate what the position is. You, you no, want me to I talk want to know politics and judgment. My first that's, question that's is, what is the do. campaign's position on stopping humanitarian crisis in Syria? That was I'm not going to convey a position to you. I'm going to tell you, if you want me to, uh, what I think the pros and cons are of various courses of action with respect to Syria and Russia and where the problem came from and the substance, but I'm not going to talk to politics. All right, Director Wolfie, we'll thanks for being with us. Thanks for coming out. Goodbye. Coming up, Russ. Yeah, so what could be more stunning than Donald Trump's pregame photo uh, with Bill Clinton's accusers? Well, if they were actually seated in the VIP box. Hear why the Trump campaign is livid this morning after apparently nearly making it happen. Plus, he's refused.